All right, so this is a good example of a question that is very, very easy if you recognize it's not about whatever, eggs. It's about quadratic equations because they are giving you a specific quadratic equation. This is the standard form. And we should know that the standard form very simply tells us two easy things, right? It tells us the direction of the parabola. So the, 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 the basically the value of the a term, the um, ax squared plus bx plus c, right? The a term tells us the direction. So because this is negative, this is a parabola that opens like this. It opens down. And that makes sense, right? Because you're throwing it from a rooftop. Think about what happens, right? The egg goes up and then it comes down, right? It's, it's gravity. So uh, that's not really going to be helpful here, but uh, we should also recognize that the c term is the y-intercept. Now, y-intercepts are going to sound different when we have stories. They're not just going to call it a y-intercept, but we should be able to recognize that that is what it is. So if they ask about something that could be a starting point, right, an initial value, that's just going to appear in this equation. So what do they ask for here? Well, they give us the height, the tree, uh, the t meter seconds. Okay. According to the equation, what is the height in meters from which the egg was thrown? Right? So that's the starting point. We're throwing the egg. That's getting this whole equation started. So it's just the y-intercept. It's 18. We don't have to do any work for this question. Now, there are other things that they could have asked for. They could have asked for basically the vertex, right? The vertex would be the maximum uh, or in certain cases, maybe the minimum of the parabola. There are ways that we can find that using this equation. We could use the h is equal to negative b over 2a formula to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. Then once we have the x-coordinate, we could plug points into equations to find the y-coordinate. But they don't ask us to, to do that here, right? So another question could, a harder version of this question could give us the standard form and ask us to find the vertex. Or it could have given us the vertex form and just told us to find the earth vertex, in which case it would have been as simple as this one was, right? Just pulling the right numbers out of the equation. So this question is, as much as it's a story, is really about knowing the vocabulary uh, around quadratic equations. And so that starts with the equations themselves. There are three ways that we can present a quadratic equation, and we need to be able to instantly recognize which one we're given and what it tells us. So the standard form, like I said, gives us the direction of the parabola and the y-intercept. And so once we've got that, we, we are hoping that that's what they asked for. And so that's already on our minds. And as it is with stories, you want to kind of always think back to the basics of the xy plane, right? It's not about eggs. So when they ask you something uh, to come out of this equation, just think, okay, are they asking for an x-intercept, a y-intercept, a vertex? When it comes to parabolas, that's kind of it. That's all they can really ask for. So it's got to be one of those three things. So just kind of test it out and think about the story in those respects. So if we think about why we want the y-intercept in this case, the egg is thrown when x equals zero, right? What is x? x is t. So when there's no time passing, right? That initial value, that's why it's a y-intercept. So hopefully this was obvious to you, but if it wasn't, if this took you even more than 10 seconds, it's because you don't know how to deal with quadratics. So you should learn the basics of quadratics, have a good lesson on the quadratic landmarks. So everything starts with that, get it down when it's simple and just basic algebra, then you can start layering the stories on and the questions like this will make much more sense.